have arrived at the upper parking lot. That's the famous outhouse, I imagine. We are just leaving the uh, upper parking lot, definitely not the last parking lot, but the bigger parking lot with the outhouse where the four wheeling gets a lot tougher. And uh, heading on up to the tea kettle. So I believe I'm on the right trail, which if you can see down there, it just leaves straight from the parking area. Pretty darn convenient. That's for sure. So I'll just pop up here. Oh boy. That trail just almost disappeared. So this is a less visited peak. Um, and if there is a trail, it's faint. But uh, really gonna head up to the coffee pot and then cut left to the tea kettle is the plan. This looks like a route finding challenge. I did follow a topo map to the T and uh, even at this low point, oh, I think I'm on the right track. Cause there's a nice little cairn right there and a faint trail, also a little dry creek bed, but um, I think it's gonna be, Work out good. Had some tough talus climbing. One step forward, half step back type of stuff. Um, hopefully I get through that. This climb is going to be kind of some of that though. That's part of the deal. Um, but I'm about to get up onto a bench. Hopefully I get a little better visibility and I can pick my way up the most solid ground. So that's my plan for now. Staying with the small dry creek beds where indicated on the map will greatly facilitate your upward progress while minimizing erosion by staying off the tundra. I had the misfortune of ascending more to climbers left straight up the talus field. I have made it up to the high bench. Um, there is a huge cairn next to that gully. You may not be able to see, but there is another really nice cairn here, right there. So I know I'm in the right place now. And uh, this is the critical beta for this route. You know, make your way up there, stay on the reasonable train wherever possible. You'll get up here. I found this Karen on the way up. There's another one up there. So it makes it really obvious, but really the key feature to all this is when you're looking up, and I know I had this way down there, you're gonna see that window. That is super obvious. Do not go up under it. You will not make it. You'll see that window, you'll see the ridge to the right, and you'll go around the base of those little crags, and then you'll just hug that ridge as best you can and go over the top. Um, that was a very loose and dangerous slope. I don't think it can be ascended, although I've been proved wrong before, but it would take a ton of energy sliding backwards a lot and risking rockfall. Good luck. Okay, I just got done with my switchback heading south. And now I'm going straight up this little drainage. It's fairly obvious and pronounced. Great little like tundra stairway. Right over here is a little bit of a rib and it looks a lot bigger talus and more solid. I did read a report a climb report route description saying they stay a little bit more left and it was much better and uh, i gotta believe that's true it looks great i am going to go over there right now it just started right here at this rib um so i, I think it's wise i'm going to get on there and i bet you my time doubles 
Uh, staying on that, probably get double the views too. So I'll keep you posted how that goes. Uh, I think it's gonna go well. I just got on the ridge on the north side of the wide cirque underneath coffee pot. Uh, you can see pretty clearly that happy little gully. That was great ascending that. And then below the gully, I came up a little bit more from the north. The ridge is way better. I can see all kinds of slippity slide tracks over here in the open gully and might not be too bad for the way down, but God, the way up, not good. Although I will say traversing over to the ridge right around here uh, was a little sketchy. A lot of loose rock. Um, felt like I could slide down with a lot of stuff, pull something down on myself. And then over here is a, uh, the gnarly cirque right under the tea kettle that uh, I don't think anybody's gonna get up. I can't say that for sure, but I'm pretty sure you wanna do the coffee pot route. Stay on this side of the ridge and bring your hat and sunscreen because if you climb this in the morning, you're gonna be facing right into the sun. Okay, so I've got to the top of the ridge that uh, that's usable and it was very usable. Really glad. Uh, it gets way steeper there. I, I'm pretty sure I wanna skirt it to the right, right there. That was my plan. Great vistas. Um, but yeah, I just came up all that flat little scree and really on the ridge proper or close and it was nice. So I recommend that for sure. Way less sketchy, less energy. Hugging the ridge where it's unclimbable paid off huge. Uh, it was much nicer. Good footing. Definitely still loose rock, but not so bad. I mean, that's a notch looking down on the lower ridge. I'm pretty sure that's where I was. was uh, really good. And I just came up through here. Um, a little bit of class 3 loose climbing. Uh, I'd still say relative to that uh, Talus avalanche zone. It's uh, way preferable. So I am going to shimmy on up to the top of this and even this towel, it's loose but way better than those gullies. I mean way better. So I'm happy with it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, I do believe I see the tea kettle handle. Just barely make it out on that highest point to the left. I can just see the shadow of it. Um, but this ridge looks happy. That's gotta be the coffee pot right there. Um, so going off this is definitely a joyous occasion. I can see a little cairn there too. A couple cairns. Uh, one on the horizon. And then I guess I go back down. I'm going to have to traverse this shit show. And then up this crazy gully. Um, but I can do that. Uh, I definitely feel like things are working out. And uh, I cannot emphasize enough. Stay with the ridge. Even if you can't climb the ridge because it's sheer solid steep rock, if you stay right against that rock, you can use it to push off even if you have poor footing. And it's a great help versus just crawling up loose talus, which is the alternative here. Just great footing here. Another little cairn. There's a few marking this way. And I'm loving it. No need to do the horrible talus shuffle. You can just book it right up. See nice cairns on the horizon up there. And there we go. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Traverse was a piece of cake. I am all the way across the traverse, which hopefully you can see. And then you take it all the way until you kind of run into this wall here. And then here's the black gully. And I am not really nearly as intimidated as I was moments ago. All right, so I'm just doing the hardest move on the Black Gully, doing the exit right now on the left side. And it's really not bad. I mean, you want to be comfortable with your own skill set. Probably wouldn't be a warm up climb for a loose class three here, but um, I, I think it's reasonable. And yeah, it's easy enough that I'm gonna pull out the camera and show you the top. So there's that. So I just traversed the ridge below the ridge proper on the approach side. You want to stay below the ridge proper. It's really jagged up there. Um, and then uh, don't turn up toward the ridge. Oh boy, until you hit the kitty litter. I am in the kitty litter now. And there's an obvious trail. If you turn up early, you're probably going to get cliffed out on some tower or something. So we got the the kitty litter done. Really wasn't as bad as I expected. There's a bottom to it. And uh, looks like it keeps going up the ridge this way. It's always nice hitting the ridge line. Getting a view like this. So I am weaving my way through these little baby spires. You can see the trail over there on the left. And uh, a lot of kitty litter. Um, just because you see tracks in the kitty litter does not mean you need to climb kitty litter. I have been climbing the rocks around the kitty litter. Still slippery and gnarly, but uh, definitely you don't get that uh, slide backward nearly so much. And the view is awesome. There she blows. The coffee pot and coffee pot handle. So awesome. Time to play around here. Call that some of mine.
So we've got the gloves. Yes, indeed, the wipeout gloves. You want to be careful not to get too many rocks in your shoes. I just got a couple. There's the main kitty litter gully. This is great. As big of a pain as it was going up, it's pretty friendly going down. Especially if you're good at glissading. fast. Sending this loose stuff so far has turned out to be easier than expected. Ooh, this is tough. Big one broke out. That took a little more skill in there, but it's done now. The Black Gully has been conquered twice. Man, this descent is really tempting. I'm gonna go for it. It was pretty hellacious either way. I'll try a little. I'm not sure I can really endorse that descent. It's, uh, it was pretty dangerous. It really was. Um, it was really fast. And uh, it's a good thing I know how to slide. If you did decide to do something like that, you better have good gloves because you will not be standing it up. High boots, all the better. I think I put an extra 50 miles worth of mileage on my shoes here. Um, luckily, they're really snug around the cuff or I'd probably have a boulder in my shoe. Let's go behind that ridge. And uh, it's still no picnic, but this is completely loose with a large quantities of rock sliding all together. Uh, there's always a possibility that some of that above you may come down and you would get badly hurt. Um, so can't really endorse that. It's always a happy reunion to find my wheels. I didn't find them exactly where I first looked and I had a coronary, but uh, I, uh, I figured it out within about two minutes. So anyway, I am heading down the road, uh, back to civilization.
it was awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna say another epic adventure achieved. Um, I definitely have no regrets. Boy, that was just great. Packed up, ready to rock. Uh, I'm at the uh, basically the intersection of the road up to Yankee Boy Basin and one of the mines. Um, it was a great place to base camp out. And uh, the views were okay. So I'm gonna get myself out of here, back on home. We'll, we'll see you on the next adventure. Yankee Boy Basin was truly an amazing place. My only regret of the trip was not having the ability to spend more time exploring the rest of the area by bike, 